Hi, Tom here. In this week's Circle Line Art School video, I'll show you one way to draw a house and a line of trees in one point perspective. First, draw a horizontal line across your page, which needs to be lower than the middle height of the paper that you're drawing on. On this horizon line, draw a cross for the vanishing point on the far right. Now, draw a horizontal line below the horizon on the left and add some more lines to make it into a rectangle which is longer than it is high and the top of the rectangle needs to be above the horizon line and the base of the rectangle needs to be below the horizon line. Once you have this long rectangle we can draw two more vertical lines so that the rectangle is divided into three equal parts. Now the side of the house, the side that's going away from us, that's visually going away from us will be going towards our vanishing point on the right. So we can draw two diagonal lines from the right vertical of the rectangle to all the way to our vanishing point. Now we can choose how far back we want the house to recede on the right. And once you've chosen that, just draw a vertical line between the two diagonal lines that go to the vanishing point to show the position of the back of the house. Next we can draw a new horizontal line sort of above the main structure of the house to show the heights of the highest part of the roof. And now draw two triangles, one on the right and one on the left, leaving a gap in the middle. Next, draw a line for the side of the roof from the top of the triangles to the vanishing point. This shows what the roof looks like because we're looking at the side of the roof in perspective. Therefore we need to use our vanishing point to show us where those lines go. We can also draw a line from the corner here and then another line from this corner here to the vanishing point. We can draw a vertical line here and then add a horizontal line at the top and the bottom towards the right which is a wall between the two wings of the house which is like the front wall of the house. We can darken some of the lines here to see what we need to keep. For this drawing I'm using a 4B pencil. Next draw a line, a horizontal line along the back of the roof going right across to the right. Now draw a new triangle on the right of the house using the diagonal line that goes to the vanishing point as like the base of the triangle and then it will be a triangle in perspective, in one point perspective. Now draw two diagonal lines that connect the roof together. We can now raise some of the guidelines that we no longer need. Next, let's add a chimney. First draw a tall, thin rectangle that goes above the top of the roof. It starts below the line of the roof, but then it goes above the line of the roof. From this, we can draw a diagonal line all the way to the vanishing point. Now we can use the angle of the pitch of the roof to find the diagonal baseline of the chimney. You could add a series of chimney pots on top. Again, they're going away in one point perspective because they're parallel to the edge of the building. Next, we can draw in some windows. Just use horizontal and vertical lines. It's a good idea to line them up, so I tend to just follow the lines across, reading them across. In one point perspective, the front of the house will be made just from rectangles and triangles and all the rectangles will have 90 degree angles to them because they're not going to be distorted by perspective. So that we start to get the structure of the house in one point perspective. So any of the shapes of the house that are going away from us on the right will be going to our one single vanishing point because all these lines are parallel to each other. You can follow the lines around the corner here. So you go up to the corner and then as they go on the side wall, 
we can use our vanishing point to find the line of the windows if the line continued go all the way to the vanishing point because it's on the side of the house. Although the door is in the middle of this house, I think it will look more like it's on the right of the centre part of the house. This is because the right wing of the house is sort of coming forwards, so in a way it's hiding the middle part of the house, and that in turn makes the door, which is in the middle, it sort of loses its right hand side because of the right wing of the house is coming forward and hiding it. You could add some diamond patterns at the top triangles of the roof and some smaller details. It takes a while to put in all the windows so I'll speed up the drawing here but basically we're just drawing some small panes of glass in the windows by dividing them up horizontally and vertically in an even way. The lines on the roof that are going away from us will again all end up at our vanishing point you could add some tonal values to the right hand side of the chimney, the right hand side of the chimney pots and the right hand side of the house too, as I'm imagining the sun is on the left in the sky somewhere. Once you have the house complete, we can use our vanishing point to draw a row of trees in one point perspective. I think I'll draw a row of poplar trees. First, draw a baseline for the trees, just a diagonal line from our vanishing point going to the bottom of the page but sort of leaning across to the left. Next we can draw another diagonal line, this time slightly higher than the first line, and between these two lines we can start to draw a series of short tree trunks, getting smaller and closer together as they go away from us and they go towards the horizon and indeed the vanishing point. Next draw a diagonal line from the horizon, going high up to the sky, towards the left, and this will form the top height of our line of trees. Now we can just sketch in some taller tree shapes, starting on the nearest tree, on the left, and making sure each tree starts at the tree trunk and stops roughly at the top diagonal line that we just drew. So now we have a line of trees in one point perspective, all the same height, but getting smaller as they recede from us. Next we can add some tonal values and texture to each tree and because the light is coming from the left we can make the right hand side of each tree slightly darker than the left. Once the line of trees is sketched in we could add some thin shadows to the right of each tree going along the ground. Now to finish this drawing I'll sketch in some plants with lots of short little marks making groups of marks to indicate plants. We could also add a path on the right of the line of the poplar trees. Just draw two thin lines from the vanishing point coming down to the base of the page. We could also add a few marks on the horizon far away, maybe just to indicate a town in the distance. Now this town is so far away that any buildings would just need to be indicated we wouldn't need to draw any detail at all. Please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com, to learn more about my online art courses for beginners. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, to keep up to date with all the drawing tutorials I make.